This is Bumper to Bumper TV. Okay, let's see if Lincoln can change our minds about its claims to be a luxury car maker. This time, we took a look at the MKX two-row crossover, or mid-size SUV, if you will. The test model was from the Black Label selection, which is supposed to be the ultimate from the brand. We did notice that the interior at first glance appeared to be more upscale than in previous years. But a close test of one of the surfaces left us somewhat disappointed since a wood panel is usually expected in this segment. We will give Lincoln good marks for venturing out with a different audio system. The Ravel speakers are a big step up for the brand with much better clarity and range than we expected. The second row offers enough space for an adult to be comfortable but the seats could be upgraded somewhat to match the comfort experience riders in the front seat enjoy. The powertrain chose for the MKX is the proven EcoBoost set up and developed by Ford a few years ago. This one is the twin turbocharged 2.7 liter which puts out 335 horsepower and 308 foot-pounds of torque operating on 87 octane regular unleaded fuel. That's more than enough to move the 4400 pound all-wheel drive version around with ease. Like other luxury brands, Lincoln has done away with the shift arm for the transmission, opting for an electronic push-button interface. Thankfully, it's a drive-by-wire system instead of a mess of cables and links. The MKX comes with the expected suite of safety features like blind spot monitoring, pedestrian detection, and automatic braking. We did appreciate the addition of the 360-degree camera coverage technology, which makes parking easier in tight spots. Less obvious are the software-based upgrades like CarFinder, an embedded modem for data access. But perhaps the best upgrade is adaptive steering mated with electric-assisted power steering that make handling even in hard terms an event that doesn't become a battle of wills. Overall, the MKX is a bridge vehicle between the premium and luxury segment. But with the progress that is being made by the engineers and designers, we are looking forward to seeing what the new Continental will be about. This is Greg Morris. We want to know what you think, so email us. The address is bumper to bumper TV at cs.com.